Hello and welcome to Locusts and Wild Honey, episode 6. It's a miracle! We're coming towards the end of the season of Epiphany now, in the church. And during that season, we've uh, been reading about how God manifests himself, shows himself in the world. And towards the end of this season, we've been reading about the first miracle that Jesus did in, at a wedding in Cana in Galilee, where he turned water into wine. Jesus did lots of other miracles. For instance, we read about him feeding the 5,000 with just five loaves and two fish. We read about him walking on the water and stilling the storm. He did lots of healing miracles, like helping the blind to see and the dumb to speak, the deaf to hear, and helping lame people to walk. He also, we read, helped pe uh, raise people from the dead. And perhaps as that biggest miracle of all, the greatest miracle, where he himself rose from the dead. Well, why are we uh, treated to these miracles by Jesus? When we read uh, about Jesus doing the miracles in the Gospels, in Matthew, Mark and Luke, we read that uh, Jesus wouldn't do miracles just to prove who he was. Despite people pleading with him, his disciples and the crowd asking him to do miracles, he wouldn't do them just for the sake of it, just to show who he was. And yet when we come to St John's Gospel, uh, St John writes that when Jesus did miracles, his disciples believed in him. So what can we say about miracles? We have lots of questions hanging around miracles. For instance, do miracles happen? Uh, did they happen? Do they happen now? On balance, I would say definitely yes, that they did happen and they do happen now. We can't prove historically that Jesus did miracles, but nevertheless, I do believe that miracles happen now uh, and that they happened then, and for two reasons. Firstly, I know someone who was uh, healed and uh, through, she, she says, through prayer and the prayers of others. And for that lady, the healing was a miracle. And indeed, the doctors she had at the time just couldn't explain why she'd got better. And so for her, that, that healing was a miracle. And the second reason they believe in miracles is that I actually believe that creation itself, the universe, is a miracle, is miraculous. And I include, include ourselves in that as well. As we think about uh, creation and how it happens, how it just goes on day by day uh, as the sun rises every morning and as the, uh, as the seasons pass each year. Uh, there's something that's miraculous about that. There's something that's miraculous about the workings of our own body, mind and spirit if we regard it uh, in that way. So yes, I do believe that uh, miracles happened and miracles uh, happen now and can happen now. The point though is that it isn't God's usual way of working. When we think about miracles and put them into some sort of context in the present day, I like to bring to mind what the Bishop of Durham, uh, David Jenkins, said about 30 years ago now. And he said that uh, God doesn't normally work by doing miracles. Uh, his way of working is in creation as we see it day by day, week by week, year in, year out. But he said that if miracles do happen, then they are to faith for faith. To faith for faith. And an example of that, what I mean by that, is that lady who I know that was healed, those people who prayed for her and the woman herself uh, 
had their faith increased because of that miracle that happened to her. I think in the end we've got to make our own minds up about miracles, whether we actually believe in them or we don't believe in them. Either way, as I said, you've got to make up your own mind. Is it a miracle that you're seeing or is it perhaps just a, an extraordinary experience that's not yet been explained? Well, it's up to you. By faith, I believe that it is a miracle. Thank you for watching and please do remember to share this video to spread the word as far as we can. If you like it do press the like button if you're watching on Facebook and uh, please do leave me a comment or a question that I might be able to uh, come back and answer at some time in the future. Don't be afraid of commenting. I always like to get your uh, comments and reflections on the things that I'm saying. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.